a very good morning to all of you welcome to anb exam forum student as promised we have come up with general science previous year questions and in today's session we are going to cover physics and the topic which we have to chosen for today's session will be mass weight and density okay it is very simpler one a very easy one okay and it is useful for both alp as well as technician grade 1 exam okay so without wasting any time let's begin the session so student in physics mass weight and density you should know the difference between mass and weight okay so remember student mass is basically what an object has matter in it okay the amount of matter is basically the mass okay and weight is the force exerted by that object due to acceleration due to gravity since it is a force therefore the unit will be newton and the unit of mass as you know it is kg okay and remember student mass is intrinsic in nature it means that its value does not changes from one place to another whether you are going to some other planet or remains on earth the mass will remain same but your weight can vary okay and there is one simple relationship between weight and mass uh, which is very easy one like weight is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity okay so this formula will be very useful for this particular session okay weight is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity just remember it just note it okay so let's begin the first question which of the following quantity does not change even after changing place just a few minutes before this question i already told you mass is the amount of matter an object contain and it does not change from one place to another whereas weight gravity force due to friction they can vary right so for this question a mass is the correct answer student remember weight is the force which is exerted due to acceleration due to gravity due to which it can change from one place to another okay and remember g can vary from one planet to another one place to another okay so for this question option a is the right answer let's see the next question again a very simple one which of the following quantity measure the inertia of a body what is inertia inertia as you know in newton's first law the law of inertia a body at rest will remain at rest and a body in motion will continue in motion because of what the inertia this is the property called inertia and it happens due to mass okay the amount of matter contained in that object because of which it is not able to move by itself okay so basically mass is the measure of inertia okay so the answer for this question those who have given option a well and good let's see the next question a very simple one again mass divided by volume is what a very simple one mass per unit volume is density density means in unit volume how much mass it can occupy okay and if i ask you what is the unit a unit is very simple the uh, si unit is kg and volume is meter cube okay so meter per cube is the right answer okay so option a is the right answer for this particular question quickly move to the next question so this is numerical uh, student if you see such type of question better you use a formula okay although it you can solve it verbally also and i will give you for this particular question how to solve that okay so i have already given you the formula weight is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity whenever the value of g is uh, not given like here it is given if it is not given always consider 9.8 this is approximation value okay if it is not given always remember 9.8 you should use not 10 okay so the weight of an object is 
200 newton okay so weight is 200 newton you need to find out the mass and you have g as 10 so mass is what 20 kg okay in this particular question if you see the unit wise you can also give the answer only option d has kg in its unit so option d should be the correct answer and in the numerical we have seen the answer is 20 kg okay so option d is the right answer let us see the next question, which of the following does not affect the value of acceleration due to gravity, okay. As I told you that if you go on some another planet, mass will always remain same, it will not be affected, okay. And it, it is because it is not affected due to acceleration due to gravity, okay. So mass is the right answer. Okay, mass is generally not affected by the acceleration due to gravity. But if you see our formula like weight is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity, so you can see clearly that weight is dependent on mass as well as the acceleration due to gravity. Okay? And acceleration due to gravity, you know it changes from one place to another, so weight can also change from one place to another. Right? Let us see the next question. Uh, it is very simple one, um, but you should know the correct reason for that. Density of pure water is dash than that of saline water. And everybody know it is less than uh, saline water. But if I ask you why it is less than, then you should answer in a logical way. Okay? So you have pure water, pure water means which has nothing in it. Saline water is what? If it has the salt in it. Okay. Salt is what? Let us say sodium chloride okay. and ACL. So, what we know the density of saline water is greater than the density of pure water. Pure water density is less, but why? For this, you can see it very simply density is what? Mass upon volume. So, if, if you have seen, uh, if you have dissolved sodium chloride, your volume does not change, right? But mass can change. Okay, volume remain constant, your mass can change. Why mass change? Because you have two ions, although it is very minute, but still sodium and chloride ion mass will be there, which is very feeble, very small one, but it will increase the mass. If mass is increased, the density will increase. Therefore, density of saline water is greater than the Density of pure water, in other words, density of pure water is less than saline water. Okay? So, option A is the right answer. Let us see the next question. What will be the mass of the girl weighing 450 Newton? Okay? So, weight is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity. Weight is what? 450. Newton mass you need to find out G they have not given so always use 9.8 if somebody uses 10 they will be trapped okay the answer is not 45 so if you use 10 your answer will be 45 but they have not specified G value then you need to use 9.8 okay and if you use 9.8 your answer would be 45.9 kg okay and the answer for this question would be option D 9.8 kg, okay, 45.9 kg, okay. Let us see the next numerical, the weight of an object is 980 Newton, okay. So, weight is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity, weight is what 980 Newton, mass is what you need to find out, G is what 9.8, okay. So, if you divide it 980 by 9.8, what you will get? You will get 100, not 10. Okay? So, 100 kg for this question is the right answer. So, you can see just a simple formula, you can easily uh, calculate it. Okay? Let us see the next question. I think this is the last question for today's session. The momentum of a body is 50 kg per meter per second and the velocity is 5 meter per second, what is the mass of body? A very simple one, so the formula is P is equal to mv, momentum is mass into velocity, momentum he has given 50 mass we need to find out and the velocity is 5, okay. 
So, it will be 10 kg not 10 Newton, why 10 kg? Because it is mass first thing and the SI unit of mass is kg. So, the 10 kg is the correct answer. Okay. So, option D those who have given they are right. So, we have seen a relatively simple topic um, mass, weight and density. Uh, we will bring more session if you student uh, like this video, we will continue the series otherwise we will stop it. Okay. So, I request uh, all the student to share it with your friend, those who are preparing for this particular exam. And if you want us to bring more videos, uh, just support us by sharing it with your friend. Okay. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.